welcome to Cricket Tea with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. I don't know about you, but I am loving the new features in Cricut Design Space. I love the updates. I showed you already two of the new features. I showed you how to get to the beta version if you don't already have it, and I've already shown you how the Unite feature works. In today's tutorial, we will only be looking at the subtract option and you will see why I love this one so much. At the end of this video, if you find it helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. So without further ado, let's get started. I am in Cricut Design Space and I am currently looking at the most current beta version. If you don't have this version downloaded on your computer, let me show you how to get to it first. Click on these three lines where I'm hovering over here at the top left of my computer and you will click on the settings option. And if yours is still on the live option, you would just click on beta and then click done. Since I didn't make any changes, mine still looks the same, but if you are moving from live to beta, it will um, prompt you to restart Cricut Design Space. All right, so in previous tutorials, I have shown you how the new, the updates look in Cricut Design Space. So I will just grab two hearts and I want to show you um, just what they look like. So previously, I've already shown you, you know, how to use the combine option. So if I had both of these hearts selected, I could go over to combine and I could unite these hearts. And I told you that I really loved the unite option, the unite feature, because in my opinion, Unite is so much better than Weld because even though I have these two hearts and it looks like they are connected, I could still go over here and just select one of these hearts and I could just make this one bigger and these two hearts would still be connected. So that was one reason why I really, really love the Unite feature. I'm actually loving all of these features. And I know that, you know, if I wanted to change the names of these two hearts, I could say, you know, this is the, the top heart and the bottom heart, or I could change one of these to red and one to blue. I have options. Okay. But I'm not going to use these two hearts. Um, I'm going to delete these because in this tutorial, we are focusing on the next tool in the under the combine option which is subtract and i love this feature so let me show you just some of the things that this feature can do so let's just say for example i were to grab a heart again and i were to just make this heart a little bit bigger and let's say i wanted to change the color of this heart to red okay and let's say i wanted to grab another heart right and i don't want to resize it i just want to put it right on top of this one you know previously if i wanted to slice one heart out of the other i would have to select both and then i would have to you know use the slice option then i would be deleting and all of that well with the subtract option so all you see what i've done I've just, I have a red heart and I just have a regular gray heart and I just put one on top of the other. I'm going to select both of these and watch what happens when I go to the subtract option. Okay. You see my layers panel. You see, I have two layers. I have a gray heart and I have a red heart. Well, once I click the subtract option, it just removes the gray heart. So all I'm left with is what is on the bottom. And so what I've learned just by playing around with the subtract option is that whatever is on the bottom layer, right? This red heart was on the bottom layer. Whatever's on the bottom layer is what will be left over. So let me show you what I mean. Let's look at a few more examples of that. And I'm going to show you the coolest thing that I've learned about the subtract feature. Okay, so let's go over to images and let's look at um, let's look at a holiday. Let's look at Christmas. Okay, because Christmas will be here before we know it. Okay, so let's look at we'll just choose any random um, Christmas um design okay let's look at 
let's look at this one right here that says Christmas King, okay? And I don't have a reason for choosing that one. I just see it and I like it. So now let's look at what is in the layers panel. I see one, two, three, four layers. And remember what I said, when you use the subtract option, it will subtract everything and all you will be left with is what is on the bottom layer. So we see what's on the bottom layer is this black portion of the Santa hat. So if I select this Christmas King and I go to combine and I go to subtract, let's see. OK, so you see all I was left with was the black portion or the outline of the Christmas hat. OK, so let's look at another um, image. I'll go to let's look at mm, let's say um, Halloween. OK, Halloween is definitely right around the corner. OK, so let's see what happens if I just select this one right here with this black cat and this pumpkin and I add it to my canvas. All right. So with this black cat and this pumpkin, I see that I have the cat on the top and I have the pumpkin on the bottom. And actually the face of the pumpkin, if you're looking at the layers panel, is actually connected to the black cat. OK, so if I select this, let's see what happens once I go over to combine and I select subtract. OK. You see, I'm just left with the pumpkin because that is what was on the bottom layer. OK, so hopefully you're understanding what happens with subtract when you have an item with multiple layers. Now, I have been playing around with this and I have to tell you the best thing that I've learned about the subtract option is what it does to your text. And it works with any text and I love this so much. Okay, so I'll just show you what it looks like with, let's just say, um, one of my most, one of my favorite um, fonts is Impact, if I'm doing something really big. So let me turn on my caps lock, and I am going to select that font that's called Impact. It is a system font. Okay, so I'm going to go to Impact. I thought I had my caps lock on. I didn't. Okay, so I'm going to choose that. And I am going to double click in there and I'm going to type my name, Yolanda. Okay. And I typically like to use my name in most tutorials because I just love my name. All right. So now I am going to add an offset to this. And I'm going to just bring the offset down to 0 0.10. Okay. And I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to click apply. Now, you see that I now I have a black offset behind my name. Now, watch what happens when I select the subtract option under combine. So I'm going to go over to combine and I'm going to click subtract. Look what it did to my name. It changed my name to an outline. And I didn't have to slice it. I did not have to move anything away. All I had to do was just click the subtract. And I love that. So now let's look at it with a different font. Okay, so I'm going to go over and get another text box. And this time I'm going to, let's say I want to use a Cricut font. Okay, and I am just going to choose any Cricut font I want. I'm going to choose, let's see. Let's go with Autumn Harvest. Okay, I think Autumn Harvest is really cute. And let's see if there's a bold option. No, it's not. Okay, so I'm going to double click in here and I'm going to type my name, Delonda. And I think I definitely want to make this a lot bigger. And I am going to add an offset to it. I want to keep it on that uh, 0 0.10. I'm going to click Apply. And this time, instead of having a black offset, I want to have a, let's see what a red offset looks like, okay? And I'm going to select my name with that red offset, and I'm going to go to combine, and I'm going to go to subtract, and let's see. Look, look how awesome this is. I love this. This tells me, and hopefully it tells you, that now you can create an outline with any text you have on your computer. I love that.
I absolutely love this so much because previously, if we wanted to have an outline font, we would probably have to either purchase one or add an offset and then slice it. But I just like doing it this way a whole lot better. I love the size of this offset, the, um, the outline. I just see so many possibilities with this. Let's look at one more. Let's see what a um, a script font will look like with that uh, outline and see, let's see if we like it. We might not even like it. So one of the script fonts that I really love is one that's called Joseph Sophia. Okay. I use that one a lot. And let me just move my text box over and we make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to double click in there and I'm not going to have the caps lock on. Okay. And I am going to add an offset to this. Okay. I'm going to keep it on 10, just like that. And I'm going to click apply and I'm going to change it to, let's see what this looks like in green. And I am going to um, select the font, the font and I'm going to click combine and subtract and look at how amazing this is it just really excites me I'm not even sure why so what I found just by playing with the subtract option is that for the most part you can really create an outline of pretty much anything um, I've shown you what it does to images. I've showed, I showed you what it did to that heart. We see what happened with the pumpkin. Um, let's look at another image and see just what it does. I'm pretty sure with, um, a pumpkin like this is probably going to give us an outline, but let's just double check. And I think that's the last one we'll look at for tonight. Okay, so I'm going to, you know, I'm looking at it right here in my layers panel. I see the top layer is the orange, the middle layer is the green, and the bottom layer is black. So I'm going to select this pumpkin. I see that it has three layers. I'm going to click on combine and subtract. And there I go. I have an outline of that pumpkin and I absolutely love it. So hopefully you found this helpful and you are thinking of ways that you can use the subtract option. I think you already know how I plan to use it. I can see several ways of using this with text and I am actually looking forward to using the subtract option a whole lot more. If you have found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thanks for watching. Bye!